everyone, thanks for watching. We're in Kingsley in the basement of Coin Cut Art. Jeremy Barrett is joining me to the right now, and Jeremy, thanks for taking the time. Yes, sir. All right, we're talking about coin cut art. Can you kind of just give us the general overview of what this is all about? Uh, it's a 400-year-old uh, plus art. Um, take coins, uh, basically circulation coins, and I turn them into, I cut out the background, turn them into uh, various things, keychains, pendants. Um, I invented puzzles back in uh, 2008. Um, and uh, I like to say coins are my canvas, uh, money is my art. So, And I've seen some of your stuff, and I am fascinated with it because you're dealing with such a small area and have to be so precise. So now I asked you earlier, how did you get into this? So explain how you got into this type well, thing. Well, my dad, I grew up on Beaver Island. Uh, yeah. Not a lot to do up there, but my dad taught me in the back of Mary Scholl's Toy Museum, uh, kind of to keep me out of his hair. Yeah. Um, cut out some Canadian coins. A loony was the first one I ever cut out. Uh, but yeah, 1986 to keep me uh, keep me busy. My dad taught me the basic techniques uh, of using a, a jeweler saw. Uh, yeah, right. Small blades, jeweler saw. Uh, the simple up and down, up and down after you pierce a coin. Right, right. All right, hand me. Where was that one coin we were just looking at? Yeah. Now explain what this is. Uh, well, that's a 1921 Morgan uh, dollar. Okay. I have it drilled and it's ready to cut. It'll be one of my. Uh, one of my pieces that I work on this yeah. this winter for my summer art shows. Yeah, and, um, and you were explaining this, to finish this, about seven hours? Uh, it'll be six to seven hours to finish uh, the Morgan, the 1921 Morgan. And how do you have the patience to do something like that? Uh, well, it's hard to say where an artist gets his insanity, but <laughs> this is calming. Right. I mean, if I'm, you know, this is something I used to do when I was having a bad day. So what are some of the requests you've gotten for coin art? Oh boy, wow, that's a uh, big question. I, uh, most of my requests, the ones that I get multiple requests for, end up as products on my website. And I currently have uh, over 700 coins and over 3,000 different ways I finish those 700 different coins. Wait, wait, wait so. hold, hold on a second now. You said 700 coins and 3,000 different ways to finish those? Oh yes. Explain that. Well, I mean, for example, Michigan Quarter. We're all familiar with the right. Michigan Quarter. It has the Great Lakes on it. Yeah. Uh, originally, when I started, I started by cutting out the lakes and selling it as a pendant for a necklace. Right. Well, then you add uh, golfers that come along. They want just a coin to lay down behind their ball on the golf ball or on the golf course, and you have a golf ball marker, you know, or you set it in a bezel for a sturdy keychain. Or, as uh, I started doing in 2008, I cut it into 15 pieces and make a jigsaw puzzle out of it. Yeah, that was fascinating to me that you can do a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, that was just another joke to a customer. Uh, he's always trying to stump me with new designs, right. sports logos, stuff like that. And I said, you're never going to stump me. Someday I'm going to make jigsaw puzzles out of coins. Yeah. And I got off the phone and my brand of insanity said, what if? It took a little while, wow. uh, smaller blades than I had ever used before, Yeah. and uh, here we are. This is 10 years later, and they're my biggest 55 countries I've sold the jigsaw puzzles in. Wow. It's fascinating. One of the cool uh, gift ideas that I saw is that uh, the year that someone gets married or their birthday, so you get like a 1965 coin and then do, you, do your stuff to it and give that as a birthday gift. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I stock all years all the way back to 1935. I keep coins, uh, I guess in a way I'm, I'm a coin collector too. Right. Um, right. but I have no problems pulling the coins out of my collection to turn them into art. Right. Jeremy, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you. Talking to the coin guy, coin cut art. I'm Vic McCarty in Kingsley for My News 26.